strongly prevent families to expand and not get a case of randomized people filed and called. What I actually knew is I heard of <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. So, what we're trying to do is formal, randomized control trials to see if using outbound spam data to construct reputational ranking actually works to increase internet security. And we don't really care so much directly about spam. Underlying goal is to improve the underlying security of the spam out. Now, this is different from the average RCP experiment. It's not like you've got uh, a dozen people in the medical experiment with control groups and a dozen of frequent groups, and nobody knows which is which. It's not a smarter, it's time series data, it's not one for us. And you get into all sorts of indulgence and things, and that may be a problem. that it may help and 
doing this, tried it as a randomized control trial to find out if it really worked. Okay, and once again, peer review is the main thing they're after. It's not just, uh, and what we're trying to specifically to evaluate is does disclosure of peer review performance have an effect on peer review? It's not just disclosure, it's even if it's simply the board of presentation. Survey, so we can go ahead and build this 
what they wanted to know is which uh, corporate organizational units those companies might like, turn up to the mail. Well, that's what corporate currently didn't hear much about that. And also, if we could show that the cash comes from a very small number of addresses, it clearly can be defined by the use on the site. And we can tell which botnet, and if you know that it comes from a particular botnet, then that tells you what kind of data you can save. Um, okay, now the actual design of these experiments, one of the big questions is how many treatment groups? It's good to have several. Separate out uh, different independent variables, but the more you have, the smaller they are. Now, control groups, we only need one of those, and two steel coming in, no one else can. That's great. However, unlike that, that one, that board experiment I was mentioning, I was going to go and do the same with one program for the control. On the Vermont internet, there are ways people can figure out approximately what their ranks might be, but there are other command ranks. Probably never heard of them because they're not publicized, they're not organized for you to see. But the clever technical people can find them. So there's no way that the control group is clear cut from the internet, which is part of the reason that we have a big concern about the data management problem. We want to be able to not just say spam is a huge, that's good, and if AP does indeed go away, by the way, uh, do that and prove that reputations work to do that, that's a big win. You don't even have to try to do anything else to sort of test. That person can agree with that. So our uh, our economist who makes many statisticians of the time really wants to be able to conduct management problems. And in particular, they want to be able to tell how can we separate out true security from things like what if reputation simply here's the botnet going to some other organization, for example, they know some organization is not ranked in the control group. It's just like, you know, why do you put a lock on the door so the keys will go to the house next door? Okay? How do we distinguish that step? Right, there are actually uh, ways to do this, um, and one of the key ways is to try this treatment that the bad guys can't see, can't react to it, they don't know it's not. You know, certain kinds of bad guys. We have a number of possible treatments of choice. So you have public or private. Public is you know, on the public website, and you can search and you can find it. Private is one place you can treat them. Private, uh, there are web pages for organizations, but they have a cache of URL, so you can't find it unless you know it already. And there, do we contact the organization, the organization directly by email or not? And do we do a drill down for them or not? This doesn't necessarily mean that we have to have Q by Q by Q by however many <coughs> treatment groups because, and this is a very contentious point, this one here is why we haven't actually started doing this yet. Because there's still a lot of debate going on exactly how much is this true. We can later on discuss the treatments over time. Now, I claim that's what companies do all the time. Because it's called the reason you Everybody will accept that. But it's not what you normally see in a randomized control trial. So um, when you're trying to deal with statisticians and economists and information scientists and computer scientists and get them to all agree, so if any of you have opinions on this, I would be very interested. However, there are some other things you can do. There's a phenomenon uh, that I refer to as resistance, or lack of better words. The medical organizations and the traditional staff actions.net, is that a month or two after we started publishing it? They told me no one could read it. This was very expensive. So we were like crawling around over there and got the and stood out trying to figure out what was the location. Something has to be. They can't all go to zero at once. And then we got an email from the medical organization saying, oh yeah, we, we watched it. We all talked to each other. We really all fixed it all at once. Was pretty much all efficient. What they did was they went to the affected computers and they 
Okay, I claim that 30 years to move everybody from a claim to a red is over and off from the bill about government of the town. And perhaps the attendees of CGRT at that point will be the ones who have read it. But the point is, this is not a problem that can be solved by thinking of it in the old, early industrial revolution times of you know, factory producers and a whole bunch of consumers. It used to be down to a consumer but
Most folks are going to talk about this, but spend you know, 20 minutes talking about some aspect Carol doesn't get. But pulling together all the threads just seems to be one of the difficulties. It's one of those exams you have every year that you get in class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really perplexed by this. Those, those slides, you know, of course, is in hand in the That is part of the term. The gratification by sector relates to reasons that you could discriminate just good. And I've also been looking for, and I think I've got first time. I own a course of this gratification within the sort of ISP market. I'm glad that this thing is ISP registry. I don't know where it's from. I guess it comes out to somebody who can be hooked up and who's done that. So that will save a lot of trouble. But that's another thing. It's one of those things.
powerful enough to in principle affect the rate. So that what we look at the device is follows how you make things. Well, why doesn't somebody like the Super Report do this? That? Well, that's a good question. Uh, that might be in the house.